if you want to be better, if you want to get better, you have to do the extras on the side. I love to see him smile. I love to work with him. He has a great energy to him. Sierra gives like 100%. Sierra is very driven when it comes to things that he's passionate about. Keep calm, really. That's really all it is, you know, not trying to get stressed out as much. Acting in football has definitely been something I've been doing for a long time. You know, singing is something that I just started doing. When you work hard and you do the things you do, the college thing is going to come. I look forward to be playing on the next level. And once I got to high school, I started to realize, like, dang, like, I really like this. Like, this is really what I want to do. And so I started working even harder and harder. He has the talent to be that person and make it. I mean, I know he does. I think he's going he'll be a star just like he was in high school. I'm Sierra Wright. I'm 18 years old, and I play cornerback. I feel like the exhilaration is one of the things that draws me to it the most, the brotherhood that comes with being on a football team. It's a fast-paced, super fun game. I always love playing. Well, usually I wake up, I work out in the morning, and then I'll have school afterwards. Then I usually work out again, and you know, like I fit in like meals and stuff between. And then the workouts will kind of change every day. Like some, one day I'll do lifting, and then I'll do like speed work, or I'll do something over on the field. I feel like in, in middle school, I was really enjoying myself, but you know, I was never like a big time player. Like I was never like a star player. I was just, you know, I did my job because you know, there was a ton of talent on that team. Really just having fun. You know, that's what it all boils down to because I feel like if, if I get to the point where I'm doing something and I'm not enjoying it, then there's not really any point in doing it anymore. When you're working out with your high school team, everybody's doing the same thing. You have to do the extras on the side, you know, so I've always done that throughout my entire high school career and before. So I've been training Sierra for about two years. Very athletic, but he's also so smart because we work on a lot of technical things. I work with him like I work with an NFL DB that I train. Go karaoke open, go into the hash. But that's how come you see him making a lot of plays and stuff that he knows because he's study free. Yeah, Coach Mike, I mean, he's a great coach. I like his workouts. You know, you break a sweat when you're out there. Definitely, some of my workouts are a little bit more focused on just like the technique and just being slow and getting everything and you know the muscle memory. His drills translate into the game. Well, it's pretty laid back. We try to have fun in all our workouts. A lot of laughter, a lot of correction because he is so smart. You know, it's like you just, you can't do average things with him. So he's very tedious about the things that he does. And he asks a lot of questions. So Mike, if we do this, what's that gonna do? And that challenges me as, a, as being a defensive back coach because what I try to do is simulate a lot of things that are going to happen on the field when he's playing. Now he's transferring and in, going into college, so we got to work on a different timing because the game will come faster. Recruiting is definitely crazy, you know, especially with the pandemic happening just for the past year. There's been a lot of phone calls and less in person and stuff like that, but I feel like people don't understand how hectic it really is. It's really difficult to be able to figure out which one you want to go to. As far as like skill-wise, he'll be fine. Just as long as he gets the timing and starts to understand when I can do certain things that I couldn't do in high school and a lot of things that we worked on, I think he'll be fine. Once you get to college, like it's no longer just having fun playing high school. It's a business at that point. In college, I'm really looking forward to the competition that's gonna be there. Everybody's great. Everybody is on scholarship at these schools and everybody's been putting in the work to play. So it's really about who's gonna take the extra steps to be the best. And I'm also looking forward to like the traveling. He has a cousin named Darnay Holmes that plays for the Giants. And I heard him make a comment. He said, man, Darnay, it's funny. I'm in this situation now. And I can remember when I was a little kid and I was watching you go through it. So that let me know that's who he's following. So I think that's what motivates him, just to be there. And then he's been around a lot of NFL players too. And I think he knows he has the talent to be that person. My first acting job was when I was four. And it was in a music video for a band called The White Stripes. And then, you know, as I kept growing up, probably from eight to 12, like I was in a couple more commercials. And then once I was 12, I was like, I really love this. Like this is something that I really like to do. And I kind of want to take it to the next level. So then I started auditioning for like TV shows and movies. And I booked Space Jam my, yeah, the end of my sophomore year. Space Jam was an awesome experience. The huge sets and the big stars being a part of it. And just the, the budget was crazy. So, you know, they're going to go all out. I feel like that was one thing that drew me and LeBron to each other because you know, we're both athletes and he kind of took me under his wing about what it took for him to get to the level that he's at, you know, because he's at the top. He's one of the best in the world. Me and Cedric could probably take LeBron. Oh, I beat you in a one-on-one. -on -one. I beat you in a one-on-one. -on -one. He did not beat me. I beat you in a one-on-one. -on -one. IG, listen, he did not beat me. Tell the people something. This dude is a liar, bro. I'm not a liar. And he's, a, and he's, the, he's the biggest liar. He's a liar. He's for oh, sure a liar. God. 
There was this one time we were filming a scene. They were like passing the ball in into the shot from off camera. I think like LeBron was supposed to like call for the ball or the person threw the ball too early and he just hit him like right in his face during like while we're filming the scene. It was like dead quiet because it was like, the, I know the guy on the side is like, oh my God, I just hit LeBron in the face with the ball. And everybody's like looking and I'm trying not to laugh. He was sitting like this. You know, um, and you could tell he was mad, but you know, he played it off real cool. I tease him sometimes, I call him the movie star, you know, but he's still here. Or the main thing I love about acting is that, you know, you get to step into a whole new world. Both of them are really mental, you know? With football, like you've got to study the playbook, you've got to watch film, and with acting, you know, you've got to memorize lines. And then you have to be really in tune with yourself, with your emotions and stuff like that. But with football, it's more so being in tune with your body. It takes hard work and dedication to be successful at both. So I feel like it's easy for me to, you know, go from one to the other, just knowing that the work ethic has to be the same. Acting in football has definitely been something I've been doing for a long time. You know, singing is something that I just started doing. I just feel like it's a good way to express yourself. I like that type of, you know, slower R&B type of raw type of music. Music has always been something that I've been really interested in. My grandparents and my mom would be like, oh, you know, you have a, you have a nice voice, you should sing. A football player who's singing this is like, you know, it's not something you see it normally. Making it is fun. Like, I enjoy the process, like I enjoy learning. Music theory, you know, and that's something that they've been really good with teaching me about. Marcellus and Ron. Sierra didn't like to mention it back then, but he could sing, like he had a nice little voice. And I was like getting into learning how to produce and stuff. So I was like, hey, Sierra, do you want to like, come over and sing this song that I just learned for fun. I wanted to get guitar on it also because I knew Ron played guitar. I saw Sierra post on his um, Instagram story of him like singing the song. And then ever since then we clicked and then I got added to, to a group chat and you know we've been, we've been friends ever since. Now I get to like live out that band like dream and stuff and I'm with my friends and it's a, it's a good time. That was great, that was great, that was great. Yeah, great. Uh, but we, it's gotten a lot of traction though and people have really enjoyed like what we've done so far. So as long as that keeps going, I'm gonna keep doing it and you know it's something I love doing. Just a great kid man, I love to work with him and it's not just a relationship with football, it's a relationship past that too. So a lot of times we'll talk about real life situations on the field. So I'm like Uncle Mike, you know, so. No days off means what it is. You always have to work to get better. It means doing the little things that people aren't gonna do. It means waking up early to go work out. It means just having fun. Like it's not really about like, oh, I wanna win this award. I wanna win that, you know, it's, that's not really my goals. I mean, if that happens, then that's awesome. It's a blessing, but it's more so just about getting better and enjoying myself and just seeing how, how far I can progress.